This is a quick screen recording to show you how to add your own files, Word documents, PDFs, PowerPoints, etc. to an XDLearn collection. I've already logged in and I'm looking at my dashboard at the moment so you can see the collections that you've made, collections you follow, resources you've gathered and as you scroll down the screen resources you've created and then at the very bottom your file space. This is key to adding your own documents so this is where you want to go first of all. Click where it says your file space and it opens up with a little screen that lets you uh, upload files. You've got an upload files button. You can see documents, files that I've already uploaded and you can even ca um, organize them into folders if you want to. So let's upload a file. So if we just do upload files, I will choose add. It lets me then browse through my documents and my libraries. So I'll just go and find um, a document from in here. Let's just see if we can find... Uh, We'll just choose a Word document, we'll choose Open. So there's the document name and I instruct it to upload that file and then close that little dialog box and there is that document there, it was called Work Week, it's a Word document and it's sitting now in my files storage area. What you now have to do is select the file and at the top you have a button that says create a resource from this file, you give that a click and if I just move the box over you now have to give the uh, file some kind of name, so you give it a slightly more meaningful name if you need to. You also have to give it a description, so I'm just going to paste the same thing in there again. Let's have a sensible name, work week document, and then you choose next. And it pops up um, sorry the screen's the wrong size here but it pops up and says what do you want to do with this file do you want to allocate an image to it but more importantly if we forget about the image at the moment because it has actually allocated the word document image to it we can see that over here there is a button that says do you want to add it to a collection so I am I'm going to click add to a collection and if we go back over to the other side of the screen we can then say which collection we want to add it to, um, whichever one you want. You can add it to more than one if you like. I'm going to add it to eSkills and click Done. So now when I go back to my dashboard, I click Dashboard here, and I look at my collections. So let's see all of my collections here, and I go and find eSkills. Here it is here. If I open eSkills, I will find that I now have a work week that uh, resources in there as a document and when I actually view this as a learner and have a look at that resource there it is because I've not organized it properly it's sitting up at the top work week document <laughs>